So this time we're gonna make a balloon popper. For that, we obviously need a balloon that we'll try to pop using some needles here. We're gonna control the needles using a servo motor that will be controlled using a motor controller. And we will try to stop the motor controller of forcing the motor to pop the balloon by using a button module here. And because we're gonna be making some noise, we're gonna have our security headphones because you know, safety is important. I'll put this on the side for a second while I build everything. First, I will plug in the button module that we will use as a way to stop the motor of moving. Then we plug in the motor controller. Here you go. And before we plug in the needle or anything else, we're just gonna check that everything works fine. We just need to write the mod uh, <coughs> a program with some modules here. We need a motor controller, we need a button, and we're gonna add a, a counter. It's gonna be responsible for sending information to the motor and sending the angle to it. Here's a counter and a signal. There is a kind of module that will be adding some numbers. So when we press the button, we'll add 10 now. In the counter, when we press the button, the motor value increase down there. And we're gonna add uh, another signal that's gonna be making the motor move against the uh, against us. We move by time. And we need to add an interval module. Let me find it. Here it is. And it's gonna be counting every second. And, oh, I made a mistake. I took a counter here. I should be taking a signal instead. Here it is. And this one will be subtracting as time goes by. So once we press the button once, this activates. You see how now this thing is moving by itself. And every second, the motor is going to be moving against us. If we change the time here, I would say, for example, that it moves every 100 milliseconds, it's gonna be counting faster. You see, it's going backwards. If I press the button, it moves forward. Mm -hmm. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a system that would hold the motor. And on top of the motor, I will just put a needle and the needle will try to pop my balloon here the motor here my balloon popper as you see so now I will play against the computer I have to keep on pressing so that the balloon won't pop Well, that's when I get my safety headphones and I bring in the balloon. Have to fight against it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I clearly lost. That was a balloon popper made with the S of modules. Thank you very much.